Hello there, just not Miss Daryl here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading. So this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time specific or sign specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. <laughs> the deck was like, nope, we stop right here. Um, I had a dream, and I'm not going to go into many details about the dream other than it being about boundaries. And I'm seeing a lot of nighttime activity here. I saw the moon, the four of swords, nine of swords, nine of cups, which is all about one's desires, um, as well as nightmares or anxious thoughts at night. Maybe even fears, okay? So we're going to see what the cards have to say. I heard the world, the word, <laughs> the world could be. I heard the word um, wild card, which gave me the energy of something that is game changer. And then I had to think of Uno, you know, the game. And there is a deck that you can create your own rules on a few blank cards. I'm getting a vibe of that. I'm getting a vibe of something that is going to change a game, change the rules up, switch things up. And whatever this is, it's a wild card. I don't know in what way, but it's switching things up drastically. Yeah, I'm getting a vibe of like making the rules. Someone here making the rules, stating the rules. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> When I said wild card, I, I accidentally Freudian slipped world card. A moment of silence of that very big synchronicity, please. <laughs> I'm done. This deck is creeping me out in a good way, though. The world. Something here feels very... I can't put my words on it, but I wanted to say auspicious, and I'm seeing the sun behind it. Yes. I have no words. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this is someone's reaction to a situation. I see the king of wands behind. I'm hearing someone is fueled by the sun. Maybe someone here loves the sun, or they just love, you know. Something here, the sun is fueling a person. So this could be joy, a need for joy, happiness. Maybe something is illuminated that is, that is fueling this person. There's a light shed on a situation and it's a game changer. It's going to change the way things look from now on. I don't know what this is. I'm just like going to get into the reading. But the world being the overall energy powered by the sun is crazy. I think crazy good. Okay, but let's see. What is the base story here? We need to know what 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 is happening. This wanted to come out. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune. I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles. This could be a new lease on life. This could be a new job. We have the High Priestess. Yeah, someone here is could be energetically okay fighting things off. We have the high priestess, which is someone who keeps their energy to themselves. Okay, that's someone like this, the, the keeper of secrets, they say. All knowing, not all telling. Okay, someone here knows something. They do. And I don't know why, but there's like chaos going around, like going on around this person. But their energy is like completely withdrawn from it. So there could be people energetically fighting with someone and they're just withdrawn they're taking a back seat i'm also getting this energy very superior here whoever this is this could be you i'm speaking to you could be very powerful in spirit i'm getting a lot here just from this one card and then these energies around this high priestess okay <laughs> it's giving someone's efforts are futile here it's like what is even the point because i get a vibe of whoever this is they see this coming miles away 
There's something about this drama, okay? This conflict outside of oneself happening. It could cause for like confusion here. Maybe someone is confused about a person. There's a tower moment going on and I'm hearing the word unfazed. So someone here is unfazed with a tower moment that maybe is happening around them or that maybe was initiated by their presence. I'm getting, yes, bro. Game changer, wild card. Someone is the epitome of a game switching up here. Your pr I'm getting so many chills too because this is like, I don't even know what to say. I'm like speechless. Someone's presence is game changer in a situation, in a community, in a location, um, among certain people. Their presence switched everything up and people are conflicted with this person's presence. It's like, it's causing towers. And, and again, this person is very withdrawn from the scene. I can just feel it. The high priestess knows a lot, but they're also very mysterious. So not everybody understands this kind of person. They vibe quite high where their intuition is concerned, okay? They have like a direct connection to upstairs where it's like they get intuitive messages a lot. I could be speaking to a fellow reader here, okay? I could be speaking to someone who has certain spiritual gifts. And I get a vibe of a lot of ruckus caused by one's presence. And I really don't feel this one does too much. For some of you, this person holds the truth, okay? With the tower, there is a tower happening. Now, towers are very big events in one's life that changes things indefinitely. Like there's this vibe of divine intervention going on around this person. But why do I feel this individual isn't per se affected directly, okay? I don't feel like they are. They feel very secluded. But this tower is happening and it's causing people to be unsettled, uncomfortable, Maybe they're having internal conflict. Maybe they're having external conflict. For some of you, I don't know why, but like I'm getting a jaded energy. I'm picking up a jaded energy that might blame you for these things. I'm getting this vibe of like, well, had you not entered my life, none of this would have happened. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting that. It's your presence. And I'm seeing chess pieces move. And I'm getting chills again. You were a chess piece that God played here. You know how certain things happen and it's like it's like a domino effect of maybe your presence being there. Like I'm getting a vibe of like a classroom of students and there's this foreign exchange student coming in and it just completely shifts the whole energy in the classroom. I don't know, maybe you speak another language, right? Maybe you know six languages and everybody looks at you like, who the heck is this? Some people get uncomfortable. Other people get competitive around you. They're like, yeah, well, I want to speak four languages. I want to speak six languages. I don't know what it is. Or it's like, you look very different. And then these students are looking at this person like, yeah, well, who the hell do they think they are? Like you completely disrupted like the ecosystem in some kind of community here. And I'm getting a lot of chills because I'm getting this as a download, okay? Your presence disrupted the ecosystem in an environment. It's giving me like a tank of fish all right it's an aquarium and in comes this beautiful clownfish with nice <laughs> you know fins and it's just moving things around and like it's like all the fishes are like what the hell <laughs> what is this thing but it it's like a i feel a power move of the divine i don't know how this happened but it's like it's exactly as i explained it's like you disrupted the ecosystem here all right hanged man that's also a card of sometimes stagnation maybe looking at things from a different perspective maybe you you encourage people to look at things from a different perspective completely dismantling the previous perspective they once held all right this is intense like i don't know who i'm tapping into here i'm seeing a crown too knight of pentacles there's an offer coming here for some of you this this conflict is due to an offer that has been up in the air for a while with the two of pentacles it's like do i or do i not um juggling oneself uh, going back and forth on this offer for some of you this offer made here is what's causing a tower all right this could be like again <laughs> let's say you're getting a job offer to work at a company and in 
this company, everyone's shifting because it's, and, and again, I'm not blowing smoke up no one's behind. They know what I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking about. Whoever I'm speaking to, you know what I mean. It's like this coming your way is causing a ruckus. Some way, somehow. Okay? And it's meant for you, I'm hearing. This offer, it could be, again, a position, a role you're going to play in someone's life, in a community, whatever it is. It's causing a ruckus. That's what I'm hearing. Tell me about the tower. I dare ask. Tell me about the tower. Two of Wands. The sun. There's like a planning happening here. There's also a free will choice. Someone here maybe had had a tower moment and is making a free will decision here with the sun. There's a yes answer. So let's say um, between yes and no, the answer is yes. All right. Between yes and no, the answer is yes. <clears throat> this is an epiphany someone could have had as well. Uh, whoever this is, I feel like they were in an, a very uncomfortable environment as well. It's giving me, you know, <laughs> a lot of battles. Maybe someone had to fight. Tell me more about the two of wands person. What is this? This is also maybe you, okay? Maybe this is going to come in as a shock and then you have to answer yes or no. And you're going to answer based on what your intuition is telling you with this offer. The way that thing flipped, three of cups. This is a card of celebrations. Whatever this offer is, it's something that is very, very good. It's something that you're going to want to celebrate. Okay. That can be a reunion card with the goat man. Ooh. Someone here, that's what I'm telling you. There is a pressed energy on the outskirts. Goat man to the nine of swords. Someone here is completely, their energy is thrown off by your presence in their life. And I don't know what role you play here. Okay, maybe you're, I don't know. <laughs> it can come in so many different gloves, all right? It can come in so many different gloves. Like, I'm getting this vibe of like, you know when, for example, like a step parent comes into a family, that is also something that could either improve, right, or change um, the ecosystem of that house. And I don't know why I'm saying ecosystem. Yeah, it's just like the environment, the temperature, the energy, your energy changes things. And I'm seeing that energy. That's why the step parent is just an example. You could be a man who is now in a position to like be a dad to children. Okay. And it's like, it's like a new energy to get used to. You could be a teacher schooling children and you're a substitute teacher for a previous one. It's going to change the energy in the environment. But I really feel that this is like a good change. It's a positive one. The sun, the three of cups. You might also be making new friends in this community, but this is stressing a person out who was once on some kind of throne here. The devil likes to be on its throne, okay? The goat man energy uses people as pawns sometimes to do evil things. So it's like your light is irking people's inner darkness, okay? That's why there's so much chaos here. That's why your presence in this community, in this situation, is causing for tower moments to go down, okay? Because I'm getting this energy of you taking this darkness out of people's <laughs> vessel. It's like you're you're bringing the ugly out of these people just by being around, just by being there. Whoever you are, you're incredibly special, but this is a divine chess piece move. And I'm hearing checkmate, okay? I don't know what this is with the chills on my body. I'm hearing checkmate. The divine is playing chess with goat man energy because for some of you, these people, this person, whoever was in control in some way, shape or form was very comfortable here. And now they're irritated, they're worried and they're anxious with your presence for some of you with this offer. Okay. For some of you, this could be a promotion in a business and somebody didn't want to see you there because they wanted that pedestal, whatever it is. This is something worth celebrating. I feel like this is something you're going to say yes to. And this is a pre-warning because you're bringing the ugly out of some people. But that's also, in a way, healing for them. Because once the ugly comes out, they can face that for themselves. Why does your presence bother someone so much? It's like there's something they got to look in over there. And I'm hearing the word insecurities. 
you might bring the insecurities out of people <laughs> like i'm just getting that because this is all internal struggle here i'm seeing multiple people three of cups five of wands it's all about communities okay and the tower is a disruption in there the ecosystem these people can't handle your presence very odd okay and it's not to like you know <laughs> i'm not this is not this this message isn't going to necessarily stroke this person's ego it's something they already know and it's something they had to make peace with i'm hearing because they don't always like being this kind of person and i'm getting this energy of like as they say chosen ones right and it's just like they don't they don't they don't they know why it's happening but they they're they're not always comfortable with this because it makes them feel you know awkward <laughs> sometimes i'm getting that vibe getting that vibe it's like you you just exist right you speak your truth you stay quiet you're humble like i'm getting this very soft energy but at the same time it's like if you have to state the facts you state the facts and you're not sorry about it because it's in ways divine truth as well and it levels things out but it also irks people who have hidden darkness within that they never care to look at until you opened your mouth it almost forces them to think, wow, why am I so irritated? Why am I so, you know what I mean? If they spin the question around and they look within and they're just like, well, why does this person bother me so much? Like I'm getting like these fire ant energies, which is like anxiety. It's fire. It's, mm. these energies are upset. Okay. Five of cups, nine of swords, the goat man, because you're getting this. I feel like there was a stiff battle here. Could even be an energetic one, okay? And with this offer coming in, I see a big yes answer. I do. Tell me more. What else do I need to know? We have a king of wands from earlier with the magician. With the eight of swords, six of swords. Someone here is completely like... Um, they're, they have something within them that wants to do something, that wants to execute something. I'm getting this energy of like a magic trick and not in those ways. I'm just talking like, you know, when just overnight someone just like snaps and they want to do something like I'm getting this energy of the willpower within someone is going to look like damn near like a magic trick. This could be you or this could be someone in association with you who from zero to 100 like i'm just seeing this person on the edge of their seat because the willpower is kicking into this individual for some of you this is someone who was maybe trapped in the mind before or is maybe still what in somewhat insecure when it comes to this endeavor whatever this endeavor is but the magician and the high priestess are like alchemists all right that's masculine and feminine energy in a similar suit okay it's like this person has masculine energy within them that is kicking up to do something this is someone who has been very pensive about this action knight of wands with the hermit this is someone who has in ways retreated and this willpower was being cultivated within them to do something so i'm about this magician that's another yes answer so for some of you it takes two people to agree to something i'm seeing the sun and the magician which are big yes answers maybe it takes two people to agree to something okay four of wands as i say that this could be you know two people agreeing to work together two people agreeing that's the damn truth it takes two to tango. There's some kind of yes answer on both sides that is necessary for this to happen. Wow, Empress Energy, Four of Swords, Knight of Cups. Someone is really steady thinking about this. Wow. There's. That's also a final decision. That's a final decision. The Ace of Swords, there's power in your truth as well. For some of you, you spoke on this. For others of you, this is just the divine clarity all, all over this reading. Just confirming. This tower is really like screaming at me. That's a wild card too. I saw the world and now I'm seeing the tower. I'm seeing the ace of swords. For some of you, there is a truth that is making a community uncomfortable. There is a truth that is making a set of people uncomfortable. There is a decision that is making people highly uncomfortable. But it's divinely orchestrated. The Ace of Swords is the clarity of upstairs. The High Priestess is a strong sense of intuition. All right. So it's like 
for some of you there's also a prediction here like a prophetic prediction of a source unfolding and i'm getting again this agitated energy tell me more there's someone here who wanted to prove another energy wrong or they wanted to be right i'm hearing i'm also getting the energy of top dog like when i mean didn't i just speak on an agitated energy look who came out again to play guys it's a dang goat man the tower clarified the, listen there's toxicity like you know when you have like pesticide or you're clearing out vermin like that's what i'm saying the darkness in this situation is being cleaned out i'm hearing clean house <laughs> clean up on aisle six this is something that is being cleaned out with one's presence it's like what i'm just seeing a chess piece move <laughs> and i'm hearing again checkmates like this is how the game you know i'm just seeing a game changer for some of you you are what changed the game in a situation with a six of wands there's something about an energy definitely having been on pride rock of a source that's the energy that is agitated for some of you, this has something to do with people's rep reputation, the recognition, something about that. It's very ego driven, okay? Yeah, it's like something here is like not as stable as they once thought it to be. Why is this energy so irritated for it to come out again? We have the goat man again, page of wands with the fool. There's also, um, hmm, let me double check this. There's an energy who also has a heightened sense of attraction. Guys, there's also um, a pre-warning here. You might get an invitation to something that you maybe should not go to. All right. We have a struggling king of pentacles. There's a king of wands who is the match to the queen of wands. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. These two could be counterparts or soulmates, all right? There's a high level of attraction right now, okay? And it's like the energy is honed in on you, for sure. For sure. That's that's what's happening here. But I'm seeing a false energy coming to play. Coming to play chess or like make their move now. Use your discernment when this offer comes in. I have a king of pentacles in the reverse with a page of wands. That's someone inviting a person out asking them out, doing something, making a proposition. And I'm thinking back on an email that I once received that I completely ignored, okay? This person was making a huge offer, but my intuition was so uh, that I just completely ignored and discarded the email. If your intuition says, don't play into this game, do not play into the game. And I'm, and I'm raising my voice because there's something here that is so like, Oh, great idea, da, 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 da. but it's coming from a king of pentacles in the reverse. This is a fallen king or queen. There's someone here who fell off their pedestal. This person could be overly materialistic coming in to toss a bone to see if you'll take the bait. Okay, this is bait. And I'm hearing, I'm hearing snatched. Someone here is trying to snatch you. Snatch you from a divine opportunity. One that you have been purposely placed in a position to receive. Okay, I don't care if it took months to years to manifest, but this is someone who is trying to throw you off. There are two energies heading your way. One that in ways depicts a vibrational match and another one that is entirely off. Okay, so this is going to be very personal to you to know whether or not you should give in to this. I could be speaking to men as well. All right, if somebody here feels off or they want to be your business partner or they want to buddy up with you, use your discernment because you're in a season where you're getting a grandiose offer that you will love to say yes to but you're also getting a very jaded offer or a very low vibrational offer that looks good with the page of wands it might be exciting it might sound exciting but use your discernment this is coming from someone who could be very greedy who could be very controlling who could be very money hungry this person is doing something i don't i don't even know if this person is coming in disguised okay this is a warning message. I'm channeling like most of this reading. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this one refuses to stay hidden. Okay. For some of you, I'm just telling you stuff you already know. But I'm getting a vibe here of you not needing to play into whatever this is. Because there is a match coming in and only you know what that looks like. Hmm. This is, uh, you know, I'm getting the vibe of like when something good comes in 
the goat man isn't too far off yeah here we go we have an empress <laughs> You're birthing something new. This could be a new project. This could be a literal human. I don't know. This could be just something great, a new world, right? You're incredibly fertile for things to grow. Anyone that pours into you, it's like a gold mine, all right? And I'm getting this vibe of you attracting a lot. Queen of Wands, Empress, energy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My eyes said it all. This is making someone incredibly nervous. I'm just getting someone who's so nervous it's like the days are, are closing in or something is closing in here and i see somebody just wanting to throw you off all right yes we have the hierophant which can be a contract which could be the divine we have the nine of swords we have the moon and we have that countdown of a ship arriving with the moon this is happening like behind the scenes for a lot of you it is so important to have boundaries right now okay unless you feel that this is the path you want to choose but again sniff this out when it comes in because best believe it is not far off either okay so i mean this is just somebody who wants you to play with them right play with their tricks give into their game and i'm seeing for some of you, this could even be an ex, okay? If you're a divine feminine, there could be an ex or even a new person with a page of wands that wants to throw you off, all right? <laughs> Before this comes in. And this is the, the goat man's way of playing chess as well, <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is so strange. And I keep hearing wild card, the moon, yes. It is an illusion. There is an illusionist here who wants to test you, uh-oh. But you're a high priestess, empress. Temper your emotions. Ground yourself at this point in time. I'm speaking to an earth angel for a lot of you. All right. This here. Oh, damn. Yo. <laughs> I'm getting chills. This is going to be an act. There's something here that's going to be an act. An absolute illusion. Okay. And you know better. You do. I really see somebody coming out of hiding after a period of transformation, wanting to have a heart to heart as well. This is very odd energy. Like I don't usually read these. Like this is a very interesting reading. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Freedom. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. Whatever the opportunity is, make sure that you don't feel bound to anything, okay? If this opportunity in whatever way, shape, or form closes you off from your emotional expression, your creativity, you know, you being authentically you, if it represses it, if you know it will, let it go. Because there's the divine wants you to roam free. There's something about you having some kind of mission that in ways changes a lot when your energy is placed in certain places. The divine has a place specially for you. Okay, if you choose the other path, it can in ways restrict you from being all that you were meant to be. All right, it could. I really feel this has a lot to do with decisions that change our lives. All right. For example, again, this is just an example. Let's say this X, right? Let's assume it's an X because it could be a new person as well. Let's say there's an X from way back when who you know is still low vibrational or you can feel it or you can feel that they have not changed okay <laughs> they hit you up let's say you had a rendezvous with this person and you're very fertile around that time let's say you're ovulating and you have sex with this person let's be real here and you get pregnant for this person that's a life-changing decision that could maybe restrict you from fully being who you were meant to be because now you're bound to a karmic partner who you now have to, you know, be a parent with, okay? I'm here co-parenting. 
and it can in ways restrict your wings from fully branching out for example all right that's just an example let's say this person is a narcissist we don't like throwing that word around but let's just say they are truly narcissistic very self-serving selfish incredibly materialistic whatever the heck those reasons were okay for example I'm just seeing certain things, certain propositions are literally sent by, you know, to basically dim your light from really reaching its fullest potential. Then there is divine clarity within you already to know what path and what choice is meant for you that I see you taking, celebrating anyhow. But just know that this will come in. And the old you might be tempted to entertain it for a hot second, but don't do things that you will regret later on. And I'm speaking to a high priestess, so I don't have to harp on that for too long because you already know what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> for example. Okay. But I also see this could be just a job offer that really maybe takes you down a different route that compromises your morals, for example. And here you are contractually bound for, I don't know, six years. Okay. It's just an example. Don't Take the offers that restrict you from being you, from honoring you, from flying, from your freedom, okay? There's something about your freedom that is super important right now, I'm hearing. It is super important right now. Choose your freedom, claim your independence, live wild and free. All right. With hope, stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light, okay? I really feel that I'm getting an energy that was misunderstood. Okay, you're maybe weird. I'm hearing the word weird. <laughs> and there's so, you know, such a negative thing behind it. But it's truly just your uniqueness. Your uniqueness throws people off. They don't get it. They don't really understand it. I'm seeing this little goatee here. This little, what is that? What are those mohawks? Okay, maybe you're weird. Maybe you got funny highlights. I don't know what it is. Okay, that's for some of you. But I'm just saying you're a little strange. And that's why I'm saying, that's why I said I mentioned the foreign exchange student that comes in the class and people are like, you know, it's giving, you know, the episode of SpongeBob and you have all those sardines and they all look the same and they're like, meat. <laughs> they're like, meat, meat. And they all look like duplicates. And in comes this strange fish and all the sardines don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, there's a. I'm just getting a collective of people who are all very similar and you're this multicolored person all right like you have all these your aura maybe your energy is like full of different colors you glow you change the environment's ecosystem again i don't know why i'm using that word okay for some of you like aquariums maybe you like natural things you know habitats maybe what are those things called territoriums like i don't know what they're called but like when people create this um, what looks like an aquarium, but it's, um, you know, an earthy one. And then they put these little greens and moss around and they, it looks very aesthetically pleasing, right? I don't know what it is, but it's something about the ecosystem. You got to spray water on it. I've seen them on TikTok. It's, it's amazing. I just feel this energy of you change the environment you're in profoundly just by either knowing a person, you know, speaking. There's something you do that's switches things up and for some it's just your mere presence in a person's life that's changed a lot in the environment okay i'm gonna get some animals to kind of narrow this down here for me of the characters involved wow stingray mm. yeah there's something about you you know it's funny i had a dream with this animal um i think it was last week and in the dream i saw a person i knew but this person was shape-shifting and i felt a little bit like alerted by whoever this was shape-shifting and i felt the need to be cautious and in the dream next thing i knew i was in the ocean and the current was taking me further out and there was a stingray there <laughs> the stingray was there and the stingray was coming up to the surface and I got very worried so I was trying to climb on some rocks and apparently there was like an ocean infinity pool there and there was this little girl and I was like hey can you help me because I don't want to be swept out into the far ocean into the deep side of the ocean and I just kind of climbed up and helped myself and when I saw the stingray I looked it up there could be a situation that might challenge one's emotions 
and I see somebody trying to balance out their chakras. For some of you, this is very important at this point in time. Maybe it's incredibly important for you to now do, um, you know, sacral chakra cleansing, uh, solar plexus chakra cleansing, whatever chakra you want to cleanse, cleanse it to ground your emotions. Because when you ground your emotions, you're not tempted to make impulsive decisions from them. Okay, think about it. If you're super angry, you could make <laughs> an impulsive decision. Let's say you're super amped up for, I don't know, you could make an impulsive decision. Let's say you're really emotional and you want to, you know, I don't know. Uh, how do you say that? Escape. <laughs> Whatever it is. You could do something that could change the course of your of your destiny. So right now, they're basically saying, you know, be alert, just like this bunny is that can hear things miles away, and balance your emotions. Okay, there is a need to be alert at this point in time. Not scared, not fearful, just aware. Aware of your surroundings and balancing and grounding your emotions right now. That's what's being asked of you. The turtle, the fish, again, a lot of water energy here. This is protection. <laughs> Moving slowly. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't make hasty decisions. Protect your energy. Know your bubble. I'm hearing go home. There's some certain places you just shouldn't be at this point in time. <laughs> With earthworm here and the fish. Like, navigate your emotions. Some people are, their emotions are triggered by the moon phases as well. I'm seeing that a little bit here. This is also navigating through the darkness. We have the starfish, a very underestimated energy that has a, a pretty big purpose around here. Okay, it's like, where is the mouth? Where is the nose? Where is the eyes? <laughs> Nobody knows how to figure you the heck out. But you have a purpose too in the ecosystem, right? Don't these like clean the, the ocean bottom floor? I don't know what they do. No one really knows what they do, but it's a star. Okay, I could be speaking to an Aquarius as well. I have Pisces out heavy. Libra, Taurus, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in general. Capricorn is out here strong. We have Scorpio, okay? Those are just a few. But my goodness, it's like, where, where is the mouth? What is the head? Yeah, people can't figure you out. And that, that maybe irritates some people too, okay? We have an elk here for some of you. You could be coming into your divine masculinity. For others of you, there's a divine masculine that recognizes you. And there is like an approach being made. Mm-hmm. Just keep your eyes and ears peeled, okay? <laughs> I'm seeing this like someone says, is this danger or is this safe? Like, <laughs> for some of you, it could be a little paranoid right now, but I'm just hearing just balance your emotions out and you'll be just fine, okay? This is so funny. It's like scurry, sniff, flinch, right? Mm. There's a lot of animals, the lion, strength of the lion. We have a wolf, we have a snake, we have a beaver, we have a hummingbird, and we have a cheetah. Divine masculine energy, kicking up a notch, wanting to enter its, you know, predator mode. <laughs> you know, when they see their prey, they want to come in for the kill. That's what I'm getting. Hummingbird, luck, expansion, and joy. The beaver, building long-term, okay, long-term foundations right now. There's someone here who could be a homebody, and I see this, this energy... You know, I'm just seeing this little beaver. For some of you, you're dealing with an earth sign <laughs> who is just super excited to build with you. I don't know why I'm drawn to how this beaver looks incredibly excited. There's someone here who sees a future with you as well. Okay, for some of you, this is love in here as well. I, I didn't really see a lot of lovey-dovey cards, but I'm getting that energy. There's a counterpart presence here. I'm also seeing um, a snake who has a network, okay, that in ways, you know, hmm... The fact that it's eating its own self, there's something here about a lower vibrational energy who will basically cancel themselves out. There's this, I'm just more so drawn how the snake is eating itself, okay? That's being taken care of on its own. I'm getting this vibe of like, whoever this is was part of a network. Maybe they were very controlling over a network of people or a community of people, or they were just very like, there's this vibe of possessiveness and control that I'm getting here, but they're literally eating themselves. Again, I'm hearing, don't even get bothered about that. All right. I see somebody here. This person could have qualities of leadership, wanting to build, okay? 
And I'm also getting an energy of strategizing an approach here. And I see a lot of luck on your side. Coincidentally, I saw this um, hummingbird a few days ago as well. A lot of animals here. Okay, <laughs> it was a lot. A lot of messages. Moving forward, let's get the black cards. And I'm speaking to a high priestess empress, so you might have a counterpart. I mean, 10 out of 10, <laughs> you have a counterpart. I'm going to get some messages from them as well, okay? This is a very interesting reading. Hammer, sabotage, and rebuild. So somebody here could be wanting to rebuild something, wanting to work on something, trying to find the ways to do that, a decision, okay? I see a decision here, and I'm seeing someone who is conversing trying to move forward it says happily single living in the moment having fun time with friends i get a vibe of you know somebody who is at home but wanting to get out more which is good for you i'm seeing something here with the sword and the rose there could have been a separation in a soulmate contract there could be clarity coming here based on that I see a person who really doesn't want to be bothered. This could be you. With the phoenix, you're transforming yourself, all right? It says, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. Someone is changing. Someone is transforming. With not today, I feel like there are certain things that you don't need to share your energy with at this point in time. Maybe you're avoiding something. Maybe someone is transforming, hence they're avoiding you or other people. Okay, I'm getting this energy of a boundary. Someone, as I was saying, someone here is enabling boundaries as they're going through a transformation. It says need time, takes time, in time cycles, time to heal and progress, okay? But I'm also seeing a person trying to be strategic. With the golden mirror, it says self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing so there's somebody here who could be looking at themselves reflecting i'm also getting a um, narcissistic energy trying to be smart so again use your <laughs> intuition here someone here is trying to play with you okay but i'm getting the vibe that you don't really want to <coughs> play with play with that <laughs> all right you don't someone might also send a friend I'm looking at these playing cards that fell. This is a friend from um, the movie Harry Potter. And I'm seeing Draco Malfoy, which is the enemy. Somebody here, the enemy could send a friend. Okay, the enemy could send someone else to come and throw you off from here. And so mind, mind you, the enemy could be initiating someone else that looks harmless to throw you off. All right, pre-warning for someone. I said what I said. <laughs> Let's see what your person... Uh, where you're still connected to yours and I don't I don't know why I'm getting that like for some of you you're energetically closed off from your person or I'm I'm gonna say for some of you you might have tried cord cutting which you know I personally don't do that I don't know I would have really recommend it either per se but I don't have experience with that so I can't tell somebody what to do or not to do but I get this vibe of someone here might be de detached from their counterpart for for a reason okay but if you're not, <laughs> and you're here, I'm going to see what they have to say to you, okay? Because I feel their presence in the reading, but I'm not necessarily um, focused on them solely. Synchronicities haunt me. I think about you daily. Well, I'm watching you from afar. This person could be, you know, energetically stalking, watching. They're getting reminders of you. I know you deserve better than this. This person could be in deep regret for maltreatment with a soulmate, as I felt, because they know you are a soulmate. And I'm hearing were. So for some of you, I really, I'm, I'm speaking to a collective of high priestesses or high priests. For some of you, you really, you really said bye, okay? You really did snip, snip, mother lovers. I'm seeing somebody like snip, snip. So I could be speaking to a more matured high priestess who decided for some a long time ago to do this for a good reason for some of you you could have severed ties with a karmic soulmate okay that's for some of you there's a person here who's very attracted to your confidence it's giving king of wands <sighs> as i was saying it's giving king of wands what do i get you're the star of every naughty fantasy i have i cannot 
king of wands okay look at this i mean this person is giving 365 days <laughs> i'm like keep your energy in the car don't start you know what i mean anyhow this person's gonna take a leap of faith there's someone here is drawn to you like white on rice i don't know what this is brother but you know is this your person <laughs> come get your person <laughs> come pick them up like, i don't know who this is but this person gonna take a leap of faith yes man i don't know why but this person remember how i said you might be preggers for new things maybe a project maybe a whole human mind you okay this person would if they could if they can they most definitely will try so mind you all right and that could be like a person that you want nothing to do with or somebody you do want something to do with. But just be mindful, okay? Because this person, as I said, like white on rice, sticky rice. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Let me get one more because this is a funny, funny moment. Whoever this person is, is like even more drawn to you than they were before. All right? Even more drawn to you than they were before. I won't stay for lo very long. I'm sorry. Some of you here might fear rejection. Um, there's a person here who could have ghosted you before. Someone here could be like saying, I might not be able to stay for long. You are the you are the one and the only one. Okay, mind you. Honestly, I pretend to be someone I'm not because being vulnerable feels uncomfortable. So this is probably why this person could have ghosted you. It says ghost and mask. This person could have ghosted. Maybe they were in for a season. <laughs> and they dipped but this individual knows that you're the only one for them tell me more about ghost please expand on ghost <clears throat> yes yes what <laughs> i want this so badly but my, but i'm afraid of getting hurt so i self-sabotage you deserve the best and i respect you i want to do the right thing so this person, this is maybe just double confirmation for an individual who's ghosted you before. This person self-sabotages because they're afraid of getting hurt. Um, it'll be up to you to assess if this person is here to stay <clears throat> or if they're just here, you know, for a season or another reason. Just be mindful, okay? This is someone who might not know how to pick up the pieces, but they want to. So they're going to try we'll see if that attempt is good enough for you okay it's entirely up to you i'm not going to sit here and tell somebody how to make decisions based on something they should choose okay and i don't like personally i don't like readers who sit here and tell a person oh do this and don't do that no you can give advice but you have to at the end of the day leave it up to the person and their free will um you know it's it's really different per situation it's just a general message and if it's for you, it's for you, okay? If it's for you, it's for you, and you already know what to do. And I'm speaking to somebody who already knows what to do when the when the situation presents itself, okay? High Priestess knows. <laughs> I'm not here to tell a fellow, either reader or a psychic, what to do. Sis will know exactly what to do. Brother will know exactly what to do. I have full faith in you, all right? I do. I do. I, 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 it's very rare that I get such a nice energy here to read. I'm seeing courtship. So I would definitely say if I were in this situation to take it slow, feel them out. But also if you know, I'm, I'm getting a very strong karmic energy here. Now this karmic energy could initiate a person to come towards you or this is them themselves presenting themselves back into your life, okay? So be very mindful. I'm just getting an energy of a pawn. Like for some of you, there's someone's karmic who is using another person to come in and like swoop you up truly like i'm getting that like i'm seeing somebody being like sent like go initiated i'm here initiated mind you okay don't be a fool someone is coming in they're they're coming in on faith whoever this person is this could be a new person this could be your counterpart who is coming in on faith it says on my way for courtship okay assess if this person is here for a good time or if they're here to stay or if they're here you know what i mean you know who you are this person could be scared they might have worn a mask before but this is someone who knows you're it for them and they're gonna make an approach all right this person is coming in on a whim on faith <laughs> okay it's like this is somebody who's walking on faith 
Look at that. I didn't even notice this card flipped. Yeah, for some of you, this is a reunion, okay? This could be a reunion. It'll have you, this person, in their feels. For some of you, they're in their feels right now. All right? Yeah, after a moment of self-reflection, as they should do, right? I could feel that too. That's what I have for you. This is a beautiful reading. That's what I have for you guys. If this read resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.